Hello, good morning. Today we're talking about the short film I made with Philly Bowden that came out on my YouTube channel about a week ago. I'm going to cover planning, shooting, editing, and also be trying to answer as many questions as I can that have been left on past projects. Uh, and if you've got any more questions, make sure to leave them in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as I can. So this project came about when I followed Philly on Instagram. She must have then looked at my Instagram and seen that I make videos. And in one of them, I said that I want to make some more videos about athletes, making some short films. Uh, then to plan it, I uh, watched some inspiration films, mainly ones by Danny Gewurz. I took some screenshots from ones I liked and made it a Miller note board, which is like a mood board that you can make online. Uh, and that was really useful for planning kind of what sort of format I wanted to have it, getting some inspiration screenshots. Um, and yeah, I basically had the idea of making a two to three minute film with talking and then over the top having kind of cinematic footage of Philly running. Um, and that's pretty much all the planning I did. It didn't do much, kind of just had a general idea of what I wanted to do. So now on to shooting. So we'll start off with talking about gear, which is what I'm sure everyone wants to hear about. I filmed this on my Sony ZV-E10 with the Sigma 30mm f1.4 lens on it. And this is a combo I've been using for probably every year now. It's really good. I like the uh, focal length of 30mm and the Sony ZV-E10 does well. But something I haven't been using for a long time and something that I brought pretty much specifically for this project was the DJI RS3 Mini Gimbal. I brought this gimbal from MPB, and MPB is kindly supporting this video through an affiliate link in the description. MPB is the best place to buy and sell used camera gear. I really like the site, I buy most of my camera gear from there, and also selling it is great and get a good price for your gear. It's a super trustworthy site, and one thing I really like about it is when you buy something, the picture on the website is the specific one that you're going to get. So if you're looking to buy some camera gear or you've got some old camera gear you don't use anymore, make sure to use MPB and use the link in my description. And the gimbal was really useful for this project. It allowed me to run alongside Philly and get pretty smooth footage uh, and also kind of moving and panning smoothly and quickly. Um, it was really great for this project and I'm looking forward to using it more in the future. So the way this shoot worked was Philly was doing an eight mile run, which was eight laps of the park and the track, uh, which meant I could get a range of footage in different locations while she was doing her run. Um, and overall, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Uh, then after that, I did the talking head with her and she sat uh, on some seats by the side of the athletics track and I asked her some questions. And then in terms of lighting for the talking head, I used entirely natural light apart from using uh, my 5-in-1 diffuser, which is a big circle that kind of makes the sunlight a bit more soft and less harsh on her face. And in terms of settings and picture profile, which I always get lots of questions about, uh, in terms of settings, I was shooting in 4K 24 frames per second and keeping at 1 60th of a second for the shutter speed to get a nice cinematic motion blur. And for this shoot, this was actually the first time I tried out shooting an S-Log on the Sony zv 10 and it worked really well. S-Log is a log profile, which basically means when you edit, it allows you to get more dynamic range, uh, which basically just means the footage is more cinematic. Um, and I haven't done this before until this project, so it was a bit nerve-wracking, but it actually worked really well. I'm really happy with how the colours turned out on the film, um, and I mainly I could only do that because I was now editing in DaVinci Resolve. So let's now talk about editing. Um, so as I was saying, I'm now editing in DaVinci Resolve. This is the first project I've edited in DaVinci Resolve. I used to use LumaFusion, uh, and DaVinci Resolve is a far more professional editing software, and it worked really well. In terms of colour grading, I used um, TMS Productions uh, colour grading LUTs, they also had a course on how to color grade in DaVinci Resolve, so um, that was great and it allowed me to get some pretty pretty good colors. I'm pretty happy with how the film looks color-wise. And other than that, the editing was pretty much how you'd expect, putting it all together in the timeline. Um, I can put a screenshot of the timeline up now and you can see all of the layers of sound and footage. Um, and yeah, it wasn't a very complicated edit, but it was nice being able to use DaVinci Resolve for the first time and I'm looking forward to learning that more. So there we go, um, I that's how I filmed this film, I'm pretty proud of it. Um, I'm looking forward to doing some more sports films, kind of cinematic short films. Um, I was pretty happy with this one, but yeah, there's always things that you can learn um, and do better next time. Um, things I learned for this film, one thing I learned was about in the talking head asking questions. Um, I only asked, asked the four questions which were used in the film. But if I was to do this again, I think I would have asked some more questions and that would have allowed me to have some more choice about what I included and what I didn't. Uh, but yeah, that's something that I've learned um, to do better next time. But yeah, it's good that there's always things to improve and things to do better in the next film. So there we go. Like, subscribe and all that jazz and I'll see you in the next video. And also, if you haven't watched the film yet and you watched the video without knowing what I'm talking about, I'll put that up on screen now. Um, and yeah, see you in the next one.